Hello, this tutorial is about Google Analytics, the three most important things you should understand as you're getting started with Google Analytics. This comes from Online Content Marketing in 30 Minutes by author Derek Slater. For more information about the book, in 30minutes.com. Well, let's get right into the tutorial. So I'm assuming that you've uh, created a Google Analytics account, you've installed the tracking code on your website, and you're ready to find out what's going on in your website. So you click on the website name. This is actually the data for the official book website for content market, online content marketing in 30 minutes. And you'll see this. And one issue with Google Analytics is there's so much data, but it's really, really overwhelming. And a lot of people don't even know where to start. And I'm going to try to simplify that for you. So the first view that you have here is just the number of people or the number of visits over time. And this particular time period is about the last two weeks. You can change that if you want to months or even years at a time. But for now, we're just looking at two week period and the number of visits each day. So we can see on the 17th there were eight visits, uh, 17 on the 19th, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. There was a dip. Nobody came on that on the on March the 26th. But this shows an interesting trend, and that may help inform you how people are using the site over time. The two other questions that people want to know most often about their website and how it's performing are. First of all, what people are looking at on the website and then where they're coming from. And to find that information, you have to scroll down. So here we have content. This shows what people are looking at on the website. So click on content, click on overview. This page will regenerate. And then go to the bottom of the page and you'll see the actual URLs of, this, of the uh, pages that people are visiting. So you have the this forward slash means the home page of the site in question and then down here are specific pages that people might be looking at. So let's let's take a look at content marketing tip. Uh, you can actually see what it looks like by clicking the little arrow button and it will show you this particular page. All right, so you understand that. But then this this data is very interesting. It shows the number of page views over a two week period and then it shows the percentage of all page views that actually came to this one. So about 11, 10 or 11% came to this particular page. Half the people come to the home page, the home URL, and then smaller numbers along here. All right, so that's pretty interesting. Next, where are people coming from? So to find that information, you go to the left navigation, traffic sources, click on it once to expand it, and then click on overview. So this is pretty interesting, uh, this chart here. The pie chart shows three things. Search traffic, which means people using Google or Bing or Yahoo. Referral traffic means other sites that are referring to your site. And then direct traffic means somebody typed in the name of the URL or pasted it in or came in via some other method. Uh, this isn't so interesting. This is really the more interesting stuff. So for search traffic, right away is it shows some keyword data. Um, that is the keywords people are using to find the site. So some people actually pasted in the URL that's about 9% of the visits or 8, 10%. Other people, they pasted in editor career and then a couple people clicked on that, the result and came to uh, con the content marketing website. So that's, that's pretty interesting. But what I want to check out is the referral traffic. So to figure that out, you can either click on the sources over here or just click on down here, source, and we'll generate it. Okay, so it's showing the top 10 websites that people are using to come to the site. And of course, this isn't a big website, so there's not a lot of traffic, but there's some, there are some interesting trends going on here. Uh, one is that Slashdot, which is a pretty well-known techie site, a couple of visits came from there. Um, Indeed.com, StatCounter is another analytics uh, software site, and then Constant Content, Constant Content, which is, I believe, a blog. Uh, Excel in 30 Minutes, that's another in30minutes.com website. So this is how people are finding the site and you can use this sort of information to kind of inform your choices about what sort of content people like and also where people are coming from and that can tell you that oh well if techie people like people on Slashdot or some of these other sites like this site maybe that's the sort of content you should be building or you maybe decide well actually I'd like other sorts of audiences and then you can change the content that appeals to those other audiences. To find out more information about how to use these strategies and how to use Google Analytics, go to uh, read the book Online Content Marketing in 30 Minutes, available as a paperback or as an ebook or as a PDF download. Go to in30minutes.com to get the links to download it. And you'll also find more videos and other helpful tips on the website. Thanks for watching.